Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's my YouTube family doing? Uh, well, it's not morning, it's late, late evening. Uh, if you're probably hearing a humming in the background, I have put installed a fan for the back of my uh, for the back of my refrigerator to keep the compressor cooled off. Uh, you know, I worked in the HVAC business for almost for pretty near 20 years, and I used to do controls. A uh, little bit about my old past. I used to do control work and I installed computer systems to make HVAC industrial commercial to work by under control of a computer. And then also I worked in the installation of that and then I started doing the uh, environmental portion of it where we tested and tested and balanced them to make sure there was sufficient enough, efficient enough to support a company that buys one that's pretty expensive. So I come up with this idea, you know, that most homes that we have call the condensing unit or outside unit that has a fan on it. And it keeps that fan, draws the heat out to keep it cooled off on the compressor. Well, everybody knows that I bought a brand new refrigerator, put it in my truck, and then four months later it freaking, uh, it fried. In other words, the compressor went out on it, which it overheated. Now. I've done a little bit. I got a new fridge in here. I've had it for about two months now, and it's been awesome. It's a good fridge. In fact, I've got the, uh, I think it's the GE. Can't see it from here. But it's a good fridge. Got the three by four. It's the big one, the double double tier, the one with the freezer on top, you know, refrigerator on the bottom because I I cook a lot, and I and I uh, froze, I, I freeze my stuff and cook it that way. But anyway. Enough said about that. that's what you're hearing in the background a fan so I've got it cooling the compressor off behind the truck uh, behind the uh, fridge so anyway uh, again didn't do my introduction my name's Curtis Trike Rider Trucking LLC I'm I'm on my journey continuing my journey uh, yesterday when I left you guys or the day before I didn't really get to talk to you guys yesterday I was in Kingman area just outside Kingman uh, holding off because of the, the winter storm that was coming, the first winter storm that was coming through Flagstaff, Arizona. And uh, I held off and uh, glad I did. And uh, yesterday morning I got up and waited till daylight and I took off and rolled. Uh, knew I wanted to get as close as I could here. I still did not have, at the time, I still don't have appointment time. But I was assuming that it was going to be the next day at the same time it was scheduled for the night. So I took off and started up a mountain. The roads were pretty good. There was patches of ice. There was patches of, you know, snow pack and everything on the, when you got up to towards the top. But I, I hit snow pretty early. I mean, I hit snow just just outside Kingman on the north or on the west, east side. And then I climbed. Everything was basically starting to melt and everything but then I seen the melee and the aftermath you know of what people were trying to do getting over the mountain there was trucks off the road uh, a FedEx truck uh, flipped its uh, back up or its uh, back trailer not the main trailer but the back trailer you see FedEx double double dipping all the time <coughs> it was flipped over there was a couple other rigs that were off the road <coughs> So I played it smart. I went through it, you know. Uh, we ran into fog, you know, and, and everything. And, you know, once I cleared Flagstaff, I thought I was home free. Eh. Not. Even coming into Galveston, we hit snow squalls all the way through. Even here to Milan, where I stopped at, about 83, 84 miles outside of uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, where my delivery is this morning, which I got that notification later yesterday afternoon that, I would be delivering this morning at 5 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. It's right now two minutes to midnight. My clock don't reset until 1, 1 11 in the morning. I got up because I make coffee. I had to go get replace the fan. Uh, my, I'm at the Petro here right off of uh, Interstate 40 in Milan. And uh, I cranked her down last night, shut her down so I could reset my clock, fresh clock, and take off and go down 80 some miles down to Albuquerque because they want you to be there early. They want you to be there early so that you can back because apparently you got to back in from the street into the uh, cold storage facility there uh, in uh, 
in Albuquerque. So anyway, it went smooth. It was okay. I do not know, and I'm thinking about pulling my computer out here. I've got to get that ta uh, that little uh, micro SD card out and see if I've got any film. But dude, it was beautiful up on that mountain. And then there was, few, you know, a few pictures that I took of the snow. And of course, when I walked, when I ran into the wall of white, that was quite interesting. But anyway, the truck did great. Everything was fine. No, no issues. I pulled in here in Milan, went in, got my fuel, took all my fuel and sit here. And then I parked it. And then about 30 minutes, 40 minutes later, it come again. And it just come down in sheets, uh, snow and everything. I woke up this morning to a whopping uh, 19 degrees. Uh, another reminder to everybody out there, especially new people, Remember that you need to start putting your anti-gel in when you know you're going to be in the temperatures below 30 degrees and the constant two or three day type event. I'm telling you that because I experienced that with my trainer. It's no fun. And when your fuel gels up, it, you ain't getting nowhere, let me tell you. And then you got to go through the process of getting new filters and it's a costly little thing, let me tell you. So make sure that when you now now, the, some of the companies in the northeast or in the north do all do already have anti-gel in, in, within the fuel when you put fuel in, but don't trust it. I ain't been, I'll never trust the fuel stop, not at all. Never again. We we were in the north. It was cold. It was in the 20s. It had been continuous 20s. Supposedly they had had anti-gel in, 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 in their fuel. I don't trust it. So. My advice to you is just like the company made a comment on if you look back at your app and everything, look back in there, it'll tell you exactly what kind and what type to get. And I would stock up. I thought I had enough. I got ahead. I had about, uh, I think it gave me five or six when I initially started with the coming course. I started, you know, when, I mean, when I got my truck, uh, of course that was in the spring, so NIGL wasn't necessary. Now I'm down to one bottle. So I've got to get some more. I got one bottle left for another youth uh, field. Hopefully, I'm going to be headed east, maybe or south or somewhere away from the cold. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to either get some back at Prime. I uh, understand they're about five bucks a bottle, so they're expensive. So you need to stock up. I was just I I personally am going to get start carrying about eight about eight eight of those little quarts, at least eight. That means your APL up. You can be, be able to maintain that. So uh, anyway, make sure your wipers are good. Mine are good. I just put new ones on. I need to get a new one. So basically, I got to resupply. Once I, if I come back to uh, Prime Command, then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna probably restock on some of that stuff. I got oil and uh, oil last time, so I probably need oil and antifreeze last time. So anyway, just a little rant in there. But I just want to give you all the update. I should be rolling out here in about an hour hour and a half uh, going down there I've got about what was it I said 87 miles I think to roll I should get down there in plenty of time I have to park on the road go turn my bills in and then they'll direct me to what dock I got to go to and hopefully we'll get this load done and offloaded and we'll be waiting for another load so in the meantime I uh, just everybody be safe again to all my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, you go in there, you subscribe, you comment, you like the deal, or ring the bell, get the little bell icon that you can receive notification when I do these videos. Uh, I know I've been telling you guys, and I, you guys are probably calling me a fibber or a liar, I've been wanting to do another live. I did a test live several weeks ago, and it worked perfect, but I want to announce it when I do it. And right now, I, I thought I was going to get a new one. I thought for, for once I was going to do another 30. I was going to pull a 34 here because my understanding, I, I don't like the Qualcomm, guys. When you're a solo driver, you do not have no interaction with that Qualcomm except that computerized messenger that I can't understand. And I misunderstood. I thought I wasn't going to be delivering until day after tomorrow. But when you get stopped, you need to check your messages because sure enough, I, I would have jacked around and messed up and missed them. I would have got a service failure, so make sure you read them. You can listen to them, but personally to me, the little freaking me, man, it doesn't make any sense to me. And it makes me mad because I wish we could get access, but I understand the safety reasons. Pulling your eyes away from the road is not a good thing, so I'll deal with it. But anyway, guys, rant's done. 
I hope you guys have a great, awesome freaking day. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Hey, and if you're thinking about coming to Prime, watch my videos. I mean, I, I go back all the way to almost a year ago. And it chronologized my whole routine, my PSD training, my, my TNT training, when I got my truck, and then when I started solo driving the lease op, uh, going through my, my journey of doing this, you know, and I'm almost there. I actually did my annual review yesterday, and I kind of blowed my mind thinking, wow, a year, it's already gone. So I got I had to do an annual review, and hopefully everything comes out in the next uh, few weeks. I've got a little over a month left before I get my full year in, so we'll see. We'll see how it works out. We'll keep our fingers crossed, but guys, please be careful out there. Take care of yourselves, and, you know, always remember, we keep striving and driving for perfection. That's all we can do. Y'all have a great day now. Bye.